Nathan, how does it feel to be wearing that blue jersey? It's a, it's a great honour, eh? Um, something that, you know, it's taken a long time, but um, you know, finally given the chance and um, there's no looking back now for me. Did you ever give up hope? Um, I just thought I'd never get a chance, but uh, mate, I've got the opportunity now and um, I'm grateful for it and um, I'm looking forward to the challenge next week. Mate, it wouldn't be just enough to just get the jersey now, is it? No, it's, uh, it's about holding on to it now and, you know, it's, um, putting my best foot forward and trying to do the best for the Blues and, you know, help us get game two and win it. Does it make it even more special because it's taken so long and people have said so often that you should have had it by now? Yeah, definitely. As um, you know, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling. Uh, finally getting an opportunity to hear your name called out. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what way it is. Uh, I'm just grateful for the uh, you know the chance to represent my state and play for the Blues. Mate, did you give it up hope? But I, uh, I, I think I have. Yeah, I thought I did. Um, you know, I thought the opportunity was gone for me. Um, I thought it was. You know, past my time, but um, you know, thank, you know, thank Laurie and, um, and the coach for you know giving me you know a chance at uh, you know trying to show what I got to prove for New South Wales and you know proof for the state. It's a fair stage you're going to have to perform on. Yeah, it's going to be a big stage, but um, you know that's where you play the game for you know for the love and you know, for the atmosphere, of the you know the ground and you know we know there's going to be a lot of Queenslanders up there supporting them, but um, you know, we want to get the two points up there. What did when you found out? Uh, I made a bit surprised, eh? I was, uh, I was a bit like, wow, um, just doing a bit of Pilates at training. I got a tap on the back and you know, I just heard, uh, my manager told me I'm in and got the chance. And um, you know, I just, my, my grin, just, um, I smiled that hard. Um, you know, it was hard to take it away. Who was the first person you told? Um, as I walked out of training, my old man was walking in, so he, he pretty much he knew before me. So, um, you know, we just embracing, gave him a cuddle and, you know, um, my father was the first one and my fiance, so, you know, very, very happy. Nathan, what do you bring to the side? Um, hopefully a lot of spark and a lot of energy. Um, you know, hopefully a few tries and, you know, hopefully um, you know, be good in defence and, you know, stop tries from coming down our side. Nathan, probably not the circumstances you want to come into, Blake getting out of the side. Yeah, you know, definitely not, you know. Um, Feel for Blake, um, you know, hopefully he's um, surrounded by good people and, and you know, helping him and um, you know, just trying to keep him calm and, you know, heading in the right direction. Um, hopefully he just gets away for a little while and, you know, gets his mind back on the job and, you know, freshens up and see where he goes from there. Do you think these sort of incidents, um, I suppose, affect the morale of the Blue squad? I don't think so. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's my first time here and, you know, the boys are um, walking in, you know, the boys are all happy and playing games and, you know, laughing around with each other. So. You know, the, the squad here looks you know, pretty tight and that's you know, great for the team. Nathan, you've been a fine player and ambassador for a long time. Do you see yourself as a role model? Um, I like to think so. You know, um, I like to think I'm, I've helped someone or inspired some little kid in, in their life. So if I've done that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a role model and I'm, you know, I've, I've achieved something in my lifetime. Nathan, when you look down at the blue jumper that you're wearing now, what do you feel? What's your emotion? Uh, it's a big goosebumps. Eh? I get a big goosebumps. It uh, feels... Uh, you no, know, that doesn't feel real, and you know, it's going to take a day or two to get, you know, for the nerves to settle down. But um, you know, it's great to you know, be decked out in the blues jumper and blue shorts and socks. Um, it's an awesome feeling. It's a feeling that it's hard, hard to you know describe, but um, something that I'm loving. It'll feel, it'll feel real next Wednesday. Definitely will. You know, I'm, I'm looking for the challenge, and you know, it's going to be great to be out there, Suncorp Stadium, in front of you know, 50,000 50, screaming crowd. You know, um, I'm looking forward to it. Nathan, you've played under Laurie before for the Dream Team? Yeah, I uh, played with Loza about two years ago in the Indigenous team. Um, he was the coach of us then. Um, you know, so I've had a chance to be coached by him and you know, play under him, so you know, I know what to expect. Tough starts, are you going to be marking up against uh, GI? Uh, I'm not too sure yet. Um, we'll see what happens today. I, th I think it's GI and Darius, but um, you know, we've just got to focus on our job and do, do what we do.